Hello and welcome to PCTV on the Road. I'm your host today, David Cachet. I'm the Pittsfield Community Television Supervisor of Education, Government, and Technical Operations. Yes, that is one all-along title that I have. Uh, we're here today at the beautiful campus of Berkshire Community College. We're going to be talking today with some uh, officials here at BCC about what's going on up here at BCC. Just to give you a recap, On the Road is a series of programs we do once a month. We go out in the community and shoot a series of programs from a, one of the great locations we have here in the city of Pittsfield. We've been to Hancock, Shaker Village, Wakona Park, the Pittsfield Common, uh, the, Berkshire Athen the, Pits the Berkshire Athenaeum. We've been everywhere, so it seems like this summer and this, this fall. But today, we're at Berkshire Community College. My guest today, I have joined with me right here in this beautiful new, I guess you call it a connector room, basically. Mm -hmm. We have Jonah Sykes and Christina Wynn. Thank you both for being here today. Thank you for having us. Thanks for being here. Oh, it's been a great. This, this place is incredible looking, first off. And how long has this facility sort of been open now, this, this particular space? So we really opened it uh, for the start of the fall semester. Okay. It was the it was this particular building is the is actually the new construction, yeah. and it connects, which is why we call it the connector. It, makes sense. it connects our Hawthorne classroom building to our Melville classroom building that were two previously existing um, uh, buildings that were actually renovated. So yeah. this is the newest piece of that. Now the renovation has been a project that's been many years so far, right? And it, I mean, it's been touching every part of the campus, from what I can tell, and including the parking lots now, actually, matter of fact, which will make it much nicer for students and faculty and visitors here to the campus. Um, but I gotta say, this is just incredible looking. You know, I, I was talking before the show, I went to school here in 1993 to 95, my freshman and sophomore year of college, and um, this is not my BCC. This is much, much better at looking it seems like it's a much better but Dave, educational this program. this is still your BCC. It is still my BCC, <laughs> BCC that's right. BCC is for past, that's right. present, yes. and future students. Without and a so doubt. this is still your BCC. I, I like to think it is. <laughs> and I'd like to think it's a better looking version of my BCC. <laughs> uh, it's sort of like being me with a facelift or 20 pounds less or some hair uh, if we did that. Um, but without a doubt, I think, and, 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 it, and it goes without saying that the education I received at BCC was incredible. And I always tell people, and, and I, I tell them that actually I went to UMass afterwards. I transferred to UMass, got my, it was actually much more difficult to go to school here. The teachers were much more challenging than they were mm -hmm. at UMass. It was, it was an amazing educational experience that I had here at Berkshire Community College. But we didn't have this cool stuff. Right, so um, I've only been with the college for four months, mm -hmm. and, uh, and I'm not an alum, but my, my husband is an alum of the college, mm -hmm. and he came here in 2008, 2009. Yeah. And I recently brought him back on campus to check out some of the new spaces, yeah. especially what they've done in Hoffman, and then also in Hawthorne and Melville in this space. Yeah. And he was actually pretty angry. He was like, well, yeah. why didn't I get <laughs> yeah. this? He's like, you guys, yeah. this is amazing. Yeah. He's like, that's not even fair. He's like, we had to walk outside into the snow and rain that's, to get between classes. That's what I've been saying. I was saying. like, I don't understand that, but yeah. this is better now you could come on back and take some more classes if you'd like to <laughs> we're always accepting people to come on back so that that leads me to another point about you you say it's past president and future college this is what this is a great community uh, location for learning and that it doesn't end right with your sophomore year of college before you transfer absolutely it can keep going forever absolutely as far as you go you can be taking classes towards a degree or you could just doing stuff through Ole down here at the campus mm -hmm. I'm correct just taking classes we have workshops as well we workshops have, we have right. you know um, opportunities for workforce development. Mm -hmm. We have opportunities just to come and be a part of the, the community here by going to the gym that we have and everything mm -hmm. else. We have a lot of ways that people can stay engaged and, and they do. I mean, our not only do the alums still also uh, our staff and faculty, but some students just keep coming back and mm -hmm. because they're just so excited to be here. We have a lot of people come back for workshops. Mm. I mean, it's just, it's a place where it's, it's, it is your community college. Right. And people just feel so yeah. connected to it that they're naturally going to come back. I will add, BCC is beautiful. I mean, yeah. hands down. Yeah. Um, everyone who knows me knows that I've always wanted to work here. Yeah, and yeah. I finally, like, hashtag goals. I'm I heard that done. at the last trustees meeting when you got right, introduced. Yeah. I'm all, I'm all yeah. set now, so um, <laughs> it's nice to be 31 and finally get where you want to be. So <laughs> now it's just I'm looking for retirement. But the key thing is that I've always wanted to work here for a number of reasons, some of them strange and psychological, some of them, you know, existential, but mainly because it's so pretty mm. out here. Yeah. I mean, this is, like, the ideal place. And so I can only imagine if you... Are a tar if you grow up through this or you attach mm -hmm. yourself to this later in life or if you just recognize this is part of your community, then it makes sense you're going to stick with it and oh, keep yeah. coming back. Yeah, and I think from a community standpoint, we come back from Pittsfield Community Television, we were just talking, we come back for debates. We have debates mm -hmm. coming up later this month. We come back for uh, Elizabeth Warren was Absolutely. here, Richard Neal has been Neal. here, special events, workshops, uh, the forum series of BCC that was a requirement for students and stuff that just offers a wide range of stuff and people can stop in for that. And honestly, just sitting in this room, just coming back and sitting here, 
on a sunny yeah. day, I could easily just curl up and fall asleep <laughs> over there in the sun. Uh, you know, like, like, yeah, like back yeah, to the days that. when you were supposed to be studying. <laughs> yes, we were talking beforehand, weren't we, about that? Uh, when I, like I said, when I came here, I like to think I blame the campus for the, my, my skipping <laughs> classes. It was just too cold, and like I said, you had to go outside yeah, for go outside. every class. If I yeah. could have stayed in this section, Absolutely. and all my classes were in these buildings. Yeah. Right. And we have the gas fireplace there. Yeah, so you even can't when, see it on camera, you know, but it yeah, is, a, it is it's, beautiful. It's, yeah, if you don't, if you can't see it on camera, but if you do get a chance, I, I do have to recommend anyone just stopping on by and coming on this facility. Uh, don't be too much of a weirdo about it, obviously, but um, just <laughs> come on in. Yeah, call ahead. Let us know you're here. Let us know you're here. Now. You're not a student. Uh, but certainly, I think they encourage you to come up here because yeah. I think once you're up here, you will certainly fall in love with this space and the campus again. If Certainly, if you didn't go here, this is certainly an amazing, uh, just an amazing campus. It literally campus. blows my mind. I yeah. didn't go here. Yeah. And when I when I was a part of the community, it was mostly from my work that it, I was a I worked for Berkshire United Way, so I spent a lot of time doing community activities on campus. But it mm -hmm. wasn't the full breadth of the campus. Yeah. I didn't know some of these spaces even existed. Yeah, it, you mentioned Hoffman. Hoffman. Hoffman is where my heart is. Like yeah. I didn't know Hoffman was a thing. <laughs> yeah. Hoffman is my favorite space. And yeah. Tom, Tyne, if you're listening to me, Yo, like Tom. that is my favorite space yeah. in the world. There's a giant lungfish in there. Yeah. I want to get a little webcam to watch the lungfish have live feeds of it because it's so interesting. They actually it's an got evolutionary me. brethren of ours. It's so cool. It's Tom amazing. got me involved. I took a earth science class or whatever up there at Hoffman, and we I'd be getting involved in a Housatonic River cleanup day my freshman mm -hmm. year, so. You know, third, fourth week of college, I'm I'm down in Dalton, up to my waist, and you know, God lake water what. pulling tires out of a lake. <laughs> right. But I always remember that about BCC, getting involved in that sort of way, right. which has been a you know a great connection again, and the people you get to meet here, and since it is a community college, it's not just people your own age. Right. It's not just people from your town. It's the entire county coming. It was sort of the first time for me, you know, coming from high school. I went to Wakona, and you go into BCC, and suddenly. There's a 45-year-old guy sitting next to me, and there's a mother of three sitting right. next to me, and then there's people like me, 18, 19 years old, and you're going, this is an incredible place to uh -huh. be. Just yeah. the ideas that come out of those different life situations in these kind of classes are incredible. I think it's a great community asset here. Um, those particular classes, yes. now that you say that, mm -hmm. you know, it, what's interesting is when oftentimes we hear from the traditional age student right out of high school, mm -hmm. I got into this class and I had these people that were not my age sitting around me, it's really weird, and what are they doing here yeah. kind of mentality. Mm -hmm. But if you think about it, when you go get a job, you are going to be yeah. in an occupation where there is a variety of ages and different backgrounds. Without so coming a to a community college and being educated and having that learning environment mm -hmm is really going to prepare you for when you enter the workplace right. and you're going to be yeah. dealing with working with different kinds of people. Yeah. So that's a real benefit that I think sometimes people don't recognize early on. Yeah, without a doubt, without a doubt. Now we mentioned earlier we were talking about um, some of the great community events. Now some of them were held in the Bolin Theater. Right. And you talked about earlier we just dedicated that recently. So Bob Bolin was a beloved faculty yeah. member here on campus in our theater department. And after he had retired, we had named the theater after him, but he would not hear of us putting his name on the theater <laughs> physically. He would not hear of it. Yeah. So the great legend Bob Bullen passed away not too, too long ago. Mm -hmm. And first, you know, on one of our kind of <laughs> lists to do was to make sure that we were able to honor his legacy and the good work that he's done mm -hmm. and all the alums that feel so tied to the college and theater and productions and things like that. So just uh, this past month, we actually put up a sign outside mm -hmm. of the theater yeah. to honor Bob Bolin. And it's it's quite a history too. If you ever get a chance to come to a theater production, I know Town Players will be mm -hmm. doing one here very soon, right? Rocky Horror Show. Rocky Horror there? Picture Show will be here on uh, October 20th, that weekend, uh, mm -hmm. and then uh, again the following weekend on the 26th. Yep. And you go in the theater, if you get a chance to, when you come to the theater, there's some old programs hanging yes. up in the lobby. You go in the back of the theater, there's old pictures. And when I say pictures of old theater productions, these are from 1970, mm -hmm. 1972, 1968. You know, this is what, the Massachusetts first community college, right? Yes, community it college. is. And one of the cornerstones of BCC has always been its theater program. Absolutely. Right. Without a doubt, we, you have a beautiful theater, one of the most um, acoustically sound theaters that we have ever heard and just the sheer breadth of stuff that happens in there, not just from BCC educational programs, right. but like you said, town players are yep. coming in, special events, lecture series, all these other musicians. I know band camp comes in here. They yes, have a rock they and roll do. camp during yeah. the summertime. Rock so. on. Yeah, rock on, which is always a great event to see. And they are see. rocking on all <laughs> summer long. <laughs> and I guess that points to it too, that this place doesn't just close up in the summertime. Not at all. No. We have the YMCA camp mm -hmm. on our campus. We have a number of STEAM and STEM camps. We have mm -hmm. butterfly camps, so we've got kids on campus who are getting to know our faculty and our staff and mm -hmm. seeing the facilities and really getting some exposure to what yeah. it's like to be on a college campus. And I think that's important obviously for young students getting them used to the idea of a college. 
Right. Because not every kid thinks about college, but just thinking that college isn't doesn't have to be four hours away or a plane ride right. or eight hundred thousand dollars after four years. It can be an affordable place to come to get a higher education and get just as well of an education as you're going to get anywhere else. That's right. And so the quicker and the sooner they get sort of exposed to this kind of a place which I think is a tremendous, again, community asset. I keep bringing that up, but it is. This place is just incredible. So we talked about theater. What else do you want to talk about? What else is going on right up here at BCC right now? I think one of the things that comes up a lot when we talk with people about a community college education is that nationally there's a conversation around student debt mm. and mm -hmm. the, the amount of, of debt that burdens so many young people when they leave college and that they go into the workforce and the, you know their goals are to have that six-figure salary and yeah. buy a home and have a car and all those things. And the reality is that when they enter the workplace, that salary is not matching mm -hmm. their ability to pay off their debts and for them to live the lifestyle that, they, um, mm -hmm. that they'd like. And so the, the reality is that community college is an affordable, high-quality option mm -hmm. that will lead to that same four-year degree if you're, right. yes. if you're looking to right. go in if that direction. For, yeah. if, right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Or for you to be able to work and go to school at the yep. same time. Mm -hmm. So you, we try so hard as part of our jobs to let people know that this is here for them. They're going to get the best quality education mm -hmm. that they can. In many cases, we hear from four-year schools that our students that transfer to the UMass's and the MCLA's and the Cornell's yeah. and beyond, yeah. um, the Brown universities, that our students walk in as juniors and are more prepared mm. than the students that started at those schools like, so as I, freshmen. I can totally attest to that, right. having walked into UMass. And that's what I did. I looked at it as I wanted to get in TV, but the first two years of a four-year program are mostly just your cores anyway. Absolutely. So I looked at it as going, well, if I go to BCC and take my English and my math and right. you know, my science and all that kind of stuff and sort of, quote, unquote, get it out of the way, right. at the end of two years, I didn't have any debt. I had two years of my education done. I was able to transfer every credit to UMass. Right. And two years later, right on time, I had my, bat you know, I had my bachelor's degree from UMass and had a TV job. So I think that's a, a very important point to talk about because it's, like I said, it was like a clean slate. I was able to transfer out and go, okay, I've got two years down. Yeah. And a lot of times after those two years, I didn't do it this way, but you have an associate's degree. Mm -hmm. You have something already yeah. on yeah. paper. That's right. Or you can go to a job and say, I already have this. Yeah. I'm working towards something else. Or at least I have this right now, and I can come back to something later on. It's an incredible program. So um, what I'll add to that, though, mm -hmm. is so I, I am the only pr person in my family who did the traditional four-year route and then, and, then, mm -hmm. and then regretted it later <laughs> in life. Well, sure, um, sure. And, and I say that not because I didn't get an ex exceptional experience from my alma mater at MCLA, but because uh, every, I have a huge, a large family, a very large family. There's, mm -hmm. I have six siblings, my parents, everyone. They all went to BCC. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things, and my husband went to BCC, and I find one of the things that they've said along the, the way is that the, the transformation of that time, if you're, if you're starting right out of high school or if you're, you're starting to think about higher education, I, I can attest to this, you have no idea really what you want to do. Some people do. Yeah. Some people are like, like me. I was like, I want to be an English major. Terrible yeah. idea. But I want to be an English <laughs> major. Um, and so you know, then you just do that. But some people don't go that route. Yeah. So, so my no. husband, for instance, he was a business major. And he went to New York City and he tried the four-year route. And it wasn't really working for him. And hopefully he's not watching this because he doesn't like me telling his story. But anyway. Um, hey, Colin. Uh, hey, Colin. <laughs> um, he then came here. And had it not been for uh, environmental studies class he took mm -hmm. here, it changed his entire life. Yeah. He then redirected everything he wanted to yeah. do and kind of found himself through community college. And, yeah. and I feel like that's super important because you when, right out of high school, I feel like you really don't know what you want to do. I mean, you ask me on an 18 year old, what do you want? I, I don't know. I, yeah. I don't, I want some scratch tickets. I don't yeah. want to, you know, I have no idea what <laughs> yeah. I want. Um, well, if, the, if you decided <laughs> earlier, let me, the world would be full of ballerinas and firefighters, exactly. they always say. That's exactly. And there were so many astronauts. Too yeah. many astronauts. So many astronauts. Yeah. So, so exactly. And I feel like this is an opportunity to figure those things out mm -hmm. in a timely manner, but also in a way that's not going to, you're not going to then regret. Because yeah. I, don't, I don't regret my, my four-year degree. I do nope. regret my master's degree. <laughs> but I don't regret my four-year degree whatsoever, um, or the debt I assumed. But I do feel yeah. strongly that had I known then what I know now, no. so you would have gone a different direction. I would have absolutely. Yeah. No question. Well, I, and it, you bring up a good point because I, um, we have students from Miss Hall's Horizons program come up to our uh, facility. And I always tell people, I'm not looking to turn all of them into people who love making television. Right. You got an opportunity to, you may find you hate this. That's great. Right. You may thought you would love it and right. you hated it. Right. 
great, I'd rather have you find out now before you start paying some college right. or right. business or your job you hate. Yep. So any kind of experience like that, like you said, it can be positive or mm -hmm. negative. Absolutely. You know what, I don't like this at all. <laughs> Absolutely. Me, but I love this. Let right. me go do that for right. my life. And that's a perfect thing. I always joke, me and my wife, I, I, it's tough having my, telling my daughter, she's a junior in high school, so she's looking into colleges yep. now. Yep. Yep. But I'm try, I have a hard time telling her that me and my wife both did what we always wanted to do growing up. I've always wanted to make television. My, daughter, my wife always wanted to be a teacher. That's what we went to school for. That's what we do. Yeah. I said, I'm this percentage of people who that's do right. that Absolutely. in my life. That's that's right. Right. That's, yeah. that's what those years are for your college years. Absolutely. You know, is, is to go off and find out what you want to do. Because yeah. like you said, in the vast scheme of things, it's a very small time frame so to figure my, that out. My youngest brother, um, he, he's a student now at, at BCC. But he, so he went to MCLA for four years in a business degree. We got his master's from another university uh, in a business degree. And then he graduated. And then this year he's like, I don't want a business degree. <laughs> and you could have figured that out. Like, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So now he's coming back to BCC to go for um, his uh, phys physician's assistant's degree oh, because that's what something he wants to actually do. Yeah. He always wanted to do that. He yeah. just felt like, I don't know what he felt, but he's, he's like, I really wish. And I was like, well, I don't know why you did that. That's, that's, <laughs> that's like six years of schooling. You couldn't figure it out, but yeah. anyway. Yeah, so anyway. it is always an opportunity to think like, well, OK, now you always can reinvent yourself. Yeah. And that's what BCC yeah. allows you to do. Yeah. So we've talked a lot about BCC so far. Again, if you're just joining us, we're PCTV on the road up here at Berkshire Community College, talking with Jonah Sykes and Christina Wynn up here at the college. What else is going on? We've talked about a lot of the educational programs. I know you mentioned a harvest run coming up here. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you've, if you've ever been on the campus of Berkshire Community College, mm -hmm. you know about hills for yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> ever since I left, my calf muscles have gone deteriorated <laughs> ever since I stopped going here. Right. Yeah. And uh, I, I was here recently covering a cross country race, mm -hmm. so I understand. So you weren't I know in the race. I was not in the race. No, thankfully, you know, if, <laughs> I, I, I have definitely don't have the body of a runner over here. Um, I, you know, I have the body of like a steeplechase. The actual <laughs> steeplechase you jump over if you're doing that sort of thing. I'm the obstacle in the race, um, but it's it's a first off, it's an amazing looking campus down there. Like yes, you said, it is. beauty. Oh my God, you get yeah. the view, but you go down to those fields, and you know, down to Patterson Fieldhouse area and stuff like that, and. Um, it's just an amazing thing. So you have a 5K run right around in here? Partic particularly this month. I mean, the month of oh, October yeah. in the Berkshire foliage. County mm -hmm. is, is gorgeous. Yeah. But to come to Berkshire Community College and stand just outside of where we are now and yeah. look down, yeah. I mean, the, as Jonah said, it is, we're incredibly lucky to yeah. work in a place right. like this. Right. So yeah, there's a race that starts at Patterson. Um, it runs up the hills, mm -hmm. um, and then it ends actually at Patterson. There's right. a, there's um a uh, cook-off. Oh. I don't remember. Do you remember? That's my kind of race. Right? Yeah. Yeah, there, I forget what it is. There's some sort of cook-off. Yeah. There's I like just, a tasting. You know, I just approved the, another one of our posters, and I should have actually <laughs> read more of the fine print. The poster looks great, you by know the what? way. But. So here's, we know actually what it is, yes. but we don't want to tell you because we want, we want you to, show up. to come up right. and yeah. see for themselves. We can tell you it's October 21st, um, and so uh, the, the, and the, it's sponsored by Berkshire Healthcare Systems, mm -hmm. and all mm -hmm. of the proceeds of the race go back to our own nursing program here oh, on excellent, campus. Excellent. And so it's a really great way. You can go to, um, I'm going to say go to berkshirecc.edu slash harvest, harvest run. run. Yeah. But if that doesn't work, just go on our search. search. I was going to say, just run. go to the berkshirecc.edu. <laughs> it's right it. there, I promise yeah, you. You'll find it. Um, and that's, it's a great way to, uh, I mean, one of the things about the, the, this area is people love their, their running opportunities. This is one way that you can give back to a phenomenal program yeah. as well. Like that, our nursing yeah. program is, is bar none. Well, I was about to say, fantastic. it's probably the outside of, I think when I think of BCC, people think of theater and nursing. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. yeah. nursing is just such a, a, it's a growing field, and B, it's a, it's a fairly lucrative field if you can right. get through it. And as we've seen, as I see every year, we cover the nursing a pinning ceremony and stuff like that. It's a great ceremony. And that's another program where you see people of all ages. That's Absolutely. true. You see Absolutely. people coming just out of high school, getting a nursing degree, mm -hmm. want to be a nurse. We get people who, like you say, have done other things, yeah. a wide variety of yeah. other things in their life, and realize, oh, I want to help people. Right. I want to be a nurse. Right. And, and this uh, is a great place to start with that. You know, and then you can go on if you want to do other degrees and other programs, but you can be done if you if you want to be after the yeah. after your program here. Part of the um, part of the renovations was in, in, in Hawthorne and Melville, but the the space was the nursing space now is, is phenomenal. Mm. Like the yeah. the teaching opportunities that you have going in there and seeing all the different classrooms and seeing all the different opportunities you have to really learn 
um, in a really meaningful and interactive way. It, it blows my mind. Like, yeah. I learned how to write the English language. They're learning how to save lives. Like, that's fantastic. It is, it is. And, and I like to think the English language has saved lives, but right now, I think right. the nurses I just make TV shows. I know, so, right? So, uh, <laughs> you know, yeah, I always feel like, I always joke, because every one of my family is uh, either a policeman, a fireman, an EMT, <laughs> except for me. Yep, yep. So I said, if you collapse in front of me, you pick the wrong cachet. Right. I can, <laughs> I can hook up your VCR, but I cannot save you at anything. you got to get another cachet for that. Um, the, now the nursing program, though, it, I think that m many people don't recognize that here at Berkshire Community College is actually a competitive program. Oh, yeah, it is. So you, you, okay. many open um, enrollment campuses, community colleges, you apply and you get into yeah. whatever that program yeah. is if there's space available. Yep. Nursing, you actually have to submit transcripts. You have to do pre-work okay. before you get into the program. Okay. We look at your GPA. That's good to know. It, it really is because when you're going to be thrown into a clinical setting or you're going to be in mm -hmm. those nursing courses that are incredibly intensive, we need to know on the outset that you are really well prepared. Yeah. Um, so it, that's one of the reasons I think when you said, when I think of Berkshire Community College, I think of mm -hmm. theater and I think of nursing. It's yeah. because our nursing program has such a great reputation in the campus, and so many yeah. of the nurses are actually our alums. Yeah, right. Now, uh, the other thing I always do on my other hand at running a government channel, I cover meetings like PETA, and they have a great connection between Taconic High School, Berkshire Community College, technology program. Right. Yep. And and you guys have got some serious technology up here and at Taconic that students I think can both use, right? That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little any more about the technology that we have up here and, and things like that? Because that's just something that came to my mind is that sure this place, especially in Berkshire County, is on the cutting edge of technology. Yes, it is. Yeah. And and that equipment specifically um, was part of the college's ability working with um, Taconic and also the Berkshire Innovation Center right. to incorporate. Um, equipment that would be really high tech. So mm -hmm. um, there are things like 3D printers that can do really incredible things, yeah. com um, really complex parts that, that can be made right there and other scanning kinds of devices that it was so interesting when those machines were actually delivered to us, there were like two people in the entire world that <laughs> were able to actually work, work. those machines. <laughs> right, yeah. right. So we had to get them here to the Berkshires, to figure train the out. Trainer. Right, right. Yeah, 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 it was like, yeah. how are we going to yeah. use these machines? Yeah. So they were that advanced and yeah. that, that cutting edge. It's such an amazing leg up right. for people in this area. It is. You it know, really is. Think about that. If any kind of technology field to have that kind of thing and for BCC to be right there in the forefront, mm -hmm. working with the local high schools, college, workplace, you can pretty much be in a pipeline all the way through. And that's a, an amazing, again, amazing community asset it, for people. It's, right. it's one of those things that, you know, when you think about manufacturing, the, wor the word manufacturing, what brings to your mind is, you know, dirty, it's going to be right. noisy. Yeah, yeah. And quite frankly, if you walk no, in any of the manufacturing yeah. Yeah. Uh, companies we have in the Berkshire, not, not all of them, but many yep. of them, you're talking to people who have incredibly high skills yeah. to yeah. be able to operate the machines. They're no longer putting together widgets right. in the no, same no, way. No, right. you got precision molding stuff. Right. That's exactly plastics. clean room technology. Clean room right. just incredible to think about that. You know, so I think that's another thing working with a new Deconic going to be opening up mm -hmm. yes. soon. Conjunction with BCC, moving on. It, it, it's an incredible, exciting thing. We got about three minutes left. Is there anything else that you guys definitely want to get into this program about what's happening here at the BCC for people to know? Um, I, th I really want to make sure that we, we impress upon folks that uh, the, the BCC in the space and, and, and the roadways and, and what we're trying to do with, with the Falcons and, how, and mm -hmm. the sports activities and everything happening. Like, so so I, I've been here for, for four months, mm -hmm. uh, a little over four months, and, and, and I'm, I'm the manager of marketing. And I've had nonstop marketing. Oh, yeah. So much happening yeah. Yeah. with BCC. I was going to say you picked a good four months. It's, and it's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. They're like, oh, it's a summer month. It's going to be slow. It wasn't slow. <laughs> it wasn't slow at all. I don't know who told you. I don't know who told me that either, honestly. They're like, oh, it's a summer. <laughs> like, calm down. I relax. guess they really want you to yeah, get the job. Exactly. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's so easy. Come on board. I, I, I really want to press upon people the idea that like, the space is really different. And, yeah. and, and, and you know, I always look back to my mom, who you know, she graduated from here in 78 in, in, from nursing. Uh, and she dreaded ever coming back because of the, how bad the, the roadways were. It was sure. like the surface of the moon. It was yep. just like your mm -hmm. car's gonna go into a ditch and you're never gonna get out of it. Yeah. Um, it's not like that anymore. No. You know, no. my 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 car is doing really well. She <laughs> she loves driving up here now. So so I really so that's just that's just a component of things that are are changing up here mm -hmm. in really positive, lucrative ways. And I invite people to come and experience yeah. that because this is one example of that. This space is is mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. And and I think it it speaks volumes about that's just part of the story. There's a whole story about how 
you know, we're on the cusp of being silver um, um, certification oh, for the LED, excellent. which is a, a leadership in yep. environmental something design. Yes. Meaning that it's silver because we, we've made all these spaces extremely efficient, yeah. green energy, yep. environmentally friendly. It would be gold had it not been for the fact that we renovated them. We didn't tear oh. them down. We didn't build new. Them. Okay. So right. that's just one example of that. Yep. What they've done environmentally with rain gardens and with, with all these say, different. All your solar panels. Everything, every solar panels. I mean, it's incredible. Yeah. And it speaks volumes about the connectivity between our programming and then our mm -hmm. practice. And yeah. so I think if you look at the environmental studies program we have, which is amazing and, and phenomenal, we practice what we preach. And so people mm -hmm. don't necessarily get that, that narrative. I, I try to tell them that, but I only have so many channels. I invite people <laughs> to come and experience their community college for yeah. themselves and just come and witness some of the amazing things we've done because yeah. it is, it's breathtaking. And, and it just it really it excites me is. to be a part of that. And I want to share that as often as yeah. I can with other people. It truly is. And you mentioned the sports teams and stuff. When I was going here, we didn't have that. Right. Mm -hmm. So again, it felt like a place you came, took your class, and then walked you outside yeah. the room. Right. Froze took another yeah, yeah took another class <laughs> and then try <laughs> to and honestly try to get out of here as quick as possible. Absolutely. Yeah. What, what we have no. with the Falcons and the soccer team, the cross country team, and the basketball team. I mean, our basketball team is this year as well is going to be playing Williams. We're really really Excellent. excited by that. So that's something to nice keep rivalry. Absolutely, like we're really excited. Um, is just to think like we're we the community is expansive and th the campus is a, a really inclusive, welcoming place and people should like come experience it, be a part of it, and then they'll realize. I'm not kidding. Like I right. mean it. Like yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's, he's not just being paid not to just say that. that. I mean, no, I am being paid to say that, but I'm also <laughs> like I would say that off the clock. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, I want to thank you guys for being here. We're pretty much wrapping it up here. I want to thank Jonah and Christina for being here, talking about BCC. We could talk about this place for hours. Yeah. Just because of the sheer wide breadth of the stuff. If you ever want to learn more about Berkshire Community College, it's berkshirecc.edu. Yes, it is. And I've been on the website. It's a it's a great website. I've seen stuff you've been doing for students at the trustees meetings with the website and all those things. Thank you. Incredible technology they have up here at Berkshire Community college again I want to take this plug here at Pittsfield Community Television we invite you to come down help us out on the crew of any one of these shows in our studio on the road at our sporting events we're always looking for new members at Pittsfield Community Television just like they're always looking for new community members to come down and be students here at Berkshire Community College we're always looking for member volunteers so on behalf of the entire staff and the volunteer members of Pittsfield Community Television I want to thank you for watching on the road again I've been David Cachet and until next time we'll see you on the road